Are you struggling to stay focused while preparing for your SCPS part 1? If is it so, then this video is for you. Dr. Mitman had made it easy for you. She has compiled all the other points of the topic in mythology into the three pages. So let's get started. First point is about the bleeding disorders. So in bleeding disorders, the cause hai wo hai the use of heparin. What is in heparin? PT and APTT increase and there is no effect on platelet and bleeding time. Jo von Wilber disease hoti hai and the hemophilia, they both cause increase in APTT and von Wilber disease also cause increase in bleeding. The other two bleeding disorders that is HUS and TTTP, uh, the HUS causes the triad and whereas TTTP cause pentade. Both causes the decrease in platelet count and increase in bleeding time. Idiopathic thrombocytic purpura also same. It also causes decrease in platelet count and increase in bleeding time. The liver disease and the vitamin K deficiency in dono mein jo hai PT or APTT increase karta hai. Or liver disease mein the PT and the bleeding time sorry the platelet and the bleeding time it may increase or decrease or stay normal. DIC that is disseminated intravascular coagulation is me sari cheeze jo hoti hain wo abnormal ho jati hain aur isme jo hota hai jo D dimers or fibrin degradation products jo hain wo increase ho jate hain so these are the important bleeding disorders that you need to remember all these bleeding disorders are repeatedly asked in the MCQs and you can see the roughy points in order to see the related MCQs that are talked about so if you see the mcqs related to hemophilia they are repeatedly asked uh, if there is any history of genetics or any history of extraction of tooth then the answer is going to be the hemophilia or circumcision or all these uh, things are related to hemophilia and the most important diagnostic test for hemophilia is factor 8 assay and um, all the uh, the if there is episode of joint pain or uh, circumcision or um, all these are causes of the this and you must know that the factor 8 light chain is a deficiency of uh, a deficiency that is seen in patients of hemophilia then mcqs related to dic are all related to uh, pregnant females or sepsis or fever or hypertension and the most useful diagnostic dic test is the presence of fibrin degradation products for ITP, you must know that it decreases the platelet count and the bone marrow will show increased megakerocytes. Okay, there will be no effect or the bleeding time is going to be increased as well. So you are going to diagnose it as ITP. You must know that uh, the uh, there are two conditions. One is the bernard sorrier syndrome. In bernard sorrier syndrome, there is going to be a moderate amount of thrombocytopenia. And whereas in ITP, there would be marked decrease in platelets, often less than 50k so 15,000 less than 50,000 is going to be the idiopathic thrombocytic propera now, uh, one with blend disease in this disease the bleeding time is increased as well as the aptt is also increased and this is the most common inherited bleeding disorder and other disorders such as uh, pts prolonged liver disease pt monitoring is useful in liver disease and uh, uh, there is also the uh, MCQ to TTP is fragmented RBCs along with fever and altered mental status. Now let's move on to thrombotic disorders. Note few things about the thrombotic disorder. The most common prothrombotic point mutation is factor 5. It is also the most common inherited thrombotic disorder. The other thing which clotting factor deficiency causes coagulation rather than bleeding that is factor 12. Now we will see the phospholipid antibody syndrome. Anti-cardiolipid antibody is present in the mitochondria. That is also the lab finding in the anti-phospholipid antibody syndrome, which is the most common acquired disorder. Whenever there is the words recurrent abortion, spontaneous abortion, thrombosis, pregnancy, all are related to the anti-phospholipid syndrome. Then there is increased risk of thrombotic skin necrosis with hemorrhage after administration of warfarin that is going to indicate protein C deficiency. But C for protein C deficiency uh, stands for cancers and protein S that is S in protein S deficiency stops the coagulation. Now let's talk about the blood transfusion. You must know a few important uh, points about blood transfusion because MCQs are related to these and they are very confusing MCQs as well. You must know that O negative is the universal donor and AB positive is a universal recipient. All positives can give blood only to the positives whereas negative uh, people, negative blood group people can give the blood to both negative and positive. 
now the next is about the transfusion reaction so there were mcqs related to important transfusion reactions the one is the hemolytic reaction and the other is a graft versus host disease the mcqs for the hemolytic reaction is an old man present with paler and jaundice for which blood transfusion was started after which he started complaining of dark color urine the next thing was the newborn anemic for which he received exchange transfusion after 10 days he developed diarrhea and rash on arm spring to body the diagnosis is a graft versus his host reaction then the next important thing about is about hemolytic disease of newborn there are two type of hemolytic diseases of the newborn one is the rh hemolytic disease and the other one is the abo hemolytic disease jo rh hemolytic disease hai isme ye hota hai ki mother jo hoti hai wo rh negative hoti hai aur fetus jo hota hai wo rh positive hota hai and the rh factor is clinically important in pregnancy and the situation will not affect the first pregnancy the second in, um, when the, at the time of the delivery of the first pregnancy mother jo hoti hai wo fetal blood se exposed ho jati hai and there is a formation of the maternal ntd igg and in subsequent pregnancies these antibodies they cross the placenta or the rbc's fetal ki jo rbc hoti hai unko attack kar deti hai and they cause the hemolysis in the fetus so the preventive treatment for the rh hemolytic disease is the rogam that is rh immunoglobulin that can reduce the mother's reaction to their baby's rh positive blood cells this is administered a first shot at around 28 week which is the third trimester and the second shot is given in the post mortem period and that is after 72 hours after giving the birth the other hemolytic disease is the abo hemolytic disease in which the mother is oh, typo and the feature is fetus is type a or type b and that is um, the mechanism is a pre existing maternal antibodies that is the anti i a or anti b igg antibodies it crosses the placenta and they cause the hemolysis the presentation is usually the mild jaundice that occurs usually within 24 hours there is a very less severe condition as well as the um, it is, doesn't occur in the first born baby the treatment is the phototherapy or the exchange transfusion now let's move on to the next point and that is anemia in pregnancy so the most common cause of anemia in pregnancy is the hemodilution plasma volume expansion increased plasma volume or increased rbc mass all these terms mean the same so uh, if there is any of the of these options in the m in the mcq stem then that is the cause of the anemia in pregnancy that is the most common cause next move on to uh, other type of anemias are uh, the microcytic anemia and the macrocytic anemia in microcytic anemia there are five types and in which thalassemia is the most important uh, from mcq's point of view there were many confusing mcq's present for thalassemia in rough points so thalassemia is an autosomal recessive disorder that manifests 6 to 9 month after birth and point mutation splicing mutation occur in thalassemia the minor in minor thalassemia hemoglobin a2 is increased where in major thalassemia hemo fetal hemoglobin is increased this is important for you to remember the next thing is iron deficiency anemia in iron deficiency anemia it's important that it's the only type of anemia in which the total iron binding capacity is increased and the best test or the specific test for iron deficiency is a ferritin and um, uh, acid increases the absorption of uh, iron acids include hcl and uh, azorbic acid that is vitamin c so vitamin c if is given in the option in delay absorption uh, it does not delay the absorption of iron it increases the iron absorption now let's come to the anemia of chronic disease in anemia of chronic disease total iron binding capacity along with iron is decreased in lead poisoning basophilic stippling is seen and in sideroblastic anemia there is going to be increased iron and increased ferritin now let's see about the blood loss so if there is acute blood loss which is repeatedly asked in the mcqs the type of anemia seen in acute blood loss is normocytic normochromic anemia whereas in chronic blood loss initially same um, that is the normocytic normochromic but later on the macrocytic hypochromic anemia develops now if you talk about the macrocytic anemia there is a hypersegmented macrocytic anemia in which uh, the peculiar feature is the hypersegmented neutrophils two type of macrocytic anemia is the b12 deficiency and the folic acid deficiencies the differences are very important if you recognize the differences you are going to um, you will be able to solve number of mcqs so b12 
uh, B12 bind with the intrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor is released by the stomach, particularly the gastric fundus, and the cells which are responsible for secreting the intrinsic factor is the parietal cell, which also secrete the HCL. Anti intrinsic antibodies um, are present in the pernicious anemia, and they are diagnostic for this disease. And uh, autoimmune atrophic gastritis is the most common cause of the pernicious anemia. Homocysteine in methyl malonic acid is increased in vitamin B12 deficiency. Neurological symptoms are also present in B12 deficiency and it also present with pencytopenia. Vitamin B12 symptoms occur uh, um, for more than 3 years. It can be stored a sufficient amount for more than 3 years. And moreover, B12 is present in the foods of animal origin. If we talk about the folic acid, uh, the folic acid in contrast to vitamin B12, the methylmalonic acid is normal and there is no neurological symptoms. Stores are depleted in months, that is 3 to 6 months, and they are present in green leafy vegetable. It's important for you to remember that if someone is deficient in vitamin B12 and folic acid, then um, it's important that vitamin B12 deficiency is treated first. Alright? Now let's move on to hemolytic anemia. The important thing about hemolytic anemia is that you need to remember that uh, unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia occurs in hemolytic anemia and that is a normocytic type of anemia. There are two types of hemolytic anemia, intrinsic and the extrinsic. The intrinsic are the hepatitis ferrocytosis and the G6PD deficiency. These are the intrinsic causes and the extrinsic are the autoimmune microangiopathies and macroangiopathies. In micro and macroangiopathies, schistocytes or helmet cells are seen. In autoimmune, there are three types. There are two types: warm and cold. In warm, the IgG is seen, and in cold, IgM antibodies are present. Coom test is positive in autoimmune hemolytic anemias. If you talk about G6PD deficiency, it's an X-linked disease. There is most common form of enzyme deficiency. It occurs in male. It's a cell-limiting disease. Hence, bodies are seen as the most common presentation type of G6PD deficiency is acute intravascular hemolysis. The drugs that are responsible for the G6P deficiency that can cause this is, can be remembered by the mnemonic, is D-Pain, I is for isoniazid, S is for sulfonamides, D is for Dapsone, P is for Primaquine, A is for Aspirin, I is for Ibuprofen, and N is for Nitrophorentine. Now if you see hereditary spherocytosis, uh, spherocytes are seen in hereditary spherocytosis, and CHC level is increased, the Coombe test is going to be negative and membrane stabilizing test is diagnostic for the hydratory spherocytosis. Now let's move on to the other type of anemia, that is sickle cell anemia. In sickle cell anemia, valine is substituted for glutamic acid and HBSS is the sickle cell anemia and HBAS is a trait. It is present in chromosome number 6, point mutation or missense mutation occurs here and um, beta globulin chain is affected and there are um, a four type of crises that occur in a sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia thrombotic crisis there is a vaso occlusive crisis that cause the hand foot syndrome avascular necrosis of the hip lungs spleen brain painful leg ulcers and then there is a hemolytic crisis that is rare for hemoglobin due to an increased uh, rate of hemolysis that is repeatedly asked in the mcqs a plastic crisis that is caused by infection with parvovirus and sequestration crisis that is sickling within the organs and that is acute chest syndrome. Now let's talk about the aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia occurs when the bone marrow is hypocellular and it has a fatty changes. The reticulous decreased reticulocyte count. The investigation of choice is bone marrow biopsy and it is diagnosed on bone marrow spirit and trypheme biopsy. Investigation of choice is the bone marrow biopsy. This is important for you to remember. Another feature is that you must know the differences between the aplastic anemia, the myeloproliferative disorders and the myelodysplastic disorder. So the characteristic feature of myelofibrosis is the tear drop cells and the hallmark feature is the massive splenomegaly or the prominent feature is massive splenomegaly. If the characteristic feature is asked then you must mention the tear drop cell uh, if the answers consist of both splenomegaly and tear drop cell. So this was all the hematology which was discussed in the Rafi points and that is chapter number 7. So you just added one page with points like came in. These are all the points that um, is discussed in the Rafi points. I hope it's useful for everyone who is preparing for FCPS part 1. And um, this is easy to memorize as compared to the reading as compared to reading all the points because they are really confusing. And it's really hard to read those lines. So I have made one. I have made 
and prepared one pages for you everyone so that it is easy for you to revise at the last moment um thank you for listening if you have any queries please do ask in the comments